What's up people, I'm 7016 and in today's video I will be showing you the Florida Freetown Reservation I'm here in my TRX 450R It's been a while since I did one of these videos where I have my helmet cam um, I figured, eh, it's nice out I mean I think it's like 70 something degrees I really shouldn't be riding any bike, it's a little hot for that but I hear some two strokes out here. It's really the only thing I hear. I never see other four strokes. But, um, yes, yeah, a little story before I actually get into the main part of this video. I rebuilt my 125. Uh, brand new piston kit, gaskets, all that shit. And, uh, it blew up again. And I'm not happy about that. Also, I'm gonna have to edit out what I just said two seconds ago because that was profanity, and I'm um, trying not to have this, trying not to have that in this channel. But yeah, anyways, I b rebuilt the 125, blew up again, and the reason for that is because when I bored it out to 55 millimeters, I forgot to bore it out. Um, I forgot to bore out the power valves so those didn't get sanded down or whatever so my power valve stuck out farther than my actual cylinder head itself so that wasn't good at all and what happened was the piston got scratched up again like it did before when it first blow blew up and uh yeah Long story short, when I was breaking it in, breaking it in, it blew up. Out of all the, uh, uh, I gotta really take care of this thing better. There's rust over here, rust in the front, the rear. When I bought it, no rust. Got a pressure mark on my headlight. It sucks. But anyways, I mean, what, what can you do? Can't really paint over it. I mean, I could, but it's too much work. Yeah, but 125 blew up. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with today. I'm just gonna show you like the reservation. I mean, I pretty much done that in all my videos with this bike, but I figured I get into depth with the history and uh, what goes on here. And uh, I found out how to do wheelies in this since last time. Well, a while ago I started doing wheelies, and now I'm actually pretty good. I've I don't do 12 o'clocks, but there's been like two times where I actually have gone. 12 o'clock and like tap the rear brake yeah, 12 o'clock on the quad is just sketchy I, I'm really trying not to do that but um, enjoy the rest of the video the worst part from the camera on.
All right, coast is clear. Yeah, I had to uh, check around because, believe it or not, um, there's been tons of murder in these woods. Like, a lot of, I mean, a lot of paranormal activity. Um, I don't, I don't know really where to start. I mean, it's dangerous just leaving my bike there like that. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to be right next to it, so it's not too much of a big deal. But this shed, um, you can, you know, be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to believe you. You're just some kid, you know, saying stupid stuff about a place you don't even know about. Well, no, I actually did do research about this place, and believe it or not. There was a lot of um, sacrifice in these woods, and particularly this cabin. There's been a lot of, like, dog, cat, goat, sheep, human sacrifices. Um, well, human, like, going back, like, a long time ago. But, um, every time I come here, it's always different. Every time. And I mean, like, this... This cover stuff, I've never seen this before. I'm actually in the... It's like a, it's like a triangle. It's like, you know, like, there's the Bermuda Triangle. This is, uh... It's like a Massachusetts Triangle thing. I forgot what it's called, but... This is the hot spot of it all. Uh... Yeah, a lot of rituals over here. Native Americans uh, used to live here, the Wampanoag, you know, the pilgrims and all that. Pretty sure you heard of it. You know why? Because I live in Massachusetts. I live, I live in the area where it all kind of started, which I think is pretty awesome, but um, that right there, that like circle thing, and that, um, that's either Native American, which I, I'm pretty sure that sign is. Um, There's also Satan worshippers, yeah, I know, like, whoa. I have seen people over here, not in robes, but the robed people, they're in, like, entire black robes. And they, like, it's like a unofficial gathering where they come together over here and they do something. I don't think, they can't sacrifice anymore because I think, no, they just can't spend too many times or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, a lot of Satan worshippers and stuff. My friend Raymond at school, he said that he saw like a couple of dead dogs with like fle flesh blood. That's stupid. Um, fresh blood, like on the ground and stuff next to him. And he said, oh. "Bikes coming down the road, I think." Yeah, he also said that he saw. Uh, what are they, what are they called? Um. Oh yeah, the black robe figures. Um, this is also where the spot that, not this particular spot, but in these woods, um, one of the presidents, I don't know presidents too well, but one of them apparently saw a UFO over the, over here somewhere in the skies, in the, <laughs> this forest. Um, a lot of alien ghost activity. Uh... This is open for dirt bikes to come in, like, anything that isn't a four-wheel, three-wheel, or utility vehicle, you can come here, just, like, dirt bikes, you, you can go all over the place. I don't think you can actually come here, but I don't see why not, because there's trails all over the place, I mean, you, you say, oh, sorry, wrong trail or something, if you stumble across those people, um, also swallowing tons of flies right now, because it is right before summer and there's gnats too many gnats and every time I talk they go in my mouth so it looks like something's got burned here there's also these things called puckwuckies um I think it's another Native American thing but puckwuckies are like these little gremlin looking creatures and apparently they like mess with you they can like throw rocks at you or something and I could have sworn that one time, like, I was sitting here in my bike and up in that front gate where I first got into the reservation from that you guys didn't see in this video, but other videos, they have it. When you first come in, 
there's this big log in the way and I try to get around it. So I, I went to see if there was like anything nearby that I could probably move that log with. And like a pine cone kind of like, it hit me in a weird way. It didn't just fall, it kind of like hit me in a spot where something can't fall on you from. It was like right in the side right here. It was like something thrown at me. But I don't know if I was wearing a chest protector or not that day, but I could have sworn that like someone threw something at me. So I started looking around and I didn't see anything. And it was this other time, it's not like paranormal activity or whatever, but these, uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen wild weasels, but they're hilarious. They're, they're stupid funny, like I actually want a weasel now. Um, they look like little, like you know the Chinese dragons that are like super long and they have like the two front legs, two real, rear legs, but they're usually flying. Well, picture one of those, but much smaller, on the ground, just hopping around. Like, I've never seen a weasel in the wild before, and I don't know what they do, but I, I saw one one time in here, and it was, <laughs> like, these trees right here. Pretend that, like, from this one, the weasel comes out of, it's like, it, it looks like a Chinese dragon just, like, bobbing across the ground, and there was two of them. Like side by side. I thought it was like funny. So I tried seeing where they went, but <clears throat> there's no holes or anything. I don't know where weasels live, but whatever. Uh, oof. I want to see if I want to do some wheelies, but the problem with that is I'm using my old helmet, and you can see my face in my old helmet. That's not good. But. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Um, I'll put the camera right here on the table. Um, I think that placing a camera on a table is not, you know, like some... Oh, I'm going to kill you because you placed your item on my table type of deal. So, you place it like right here. And I'm going to see if I can get, I can get uh, a couple good wheelies in. That should be good right there. Yeah, so as you can see, I absolutely suck at uh, wheelies, and my bike's too powerful. It only spits up dirt and like dust and grass. I can't get grip, even with these new tires. So uh, I might go back to my uh, local area, and on like this abandoned parking lot, I might do wheelies there.
I got so many dirty looks. So probably like, how did he get his bike through there? A little magic. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that, going to the that one tight trail. Can't whack my headlight right here. Didn't do anything though. That's a pressure mark that's been there for a while, this little line. I think everything's alright. No rim damage. Good. Oh, I'm sweating out here. I gotta check the time. I have to be home b before like 5.30 or 5. Some nice dirt bikes there. A couple Kawasaki's, a couple Yam uh, Hondas. Four twenty one. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I never remember seeing the steering stem being visible. Cool. 